Back in Mobile, the city council reinstates a ban on roosters in the city limits. Chicken coop owners say this is the result of a handful of complaints punishing a lot of people. But supporters say the noise has to stop. News 5's Chad Petrie has the story. It's a sound you either love or loathe. Tuesday, the city council approves a rooster ban. Opponents of the ban aren't happy. It's just a couple of people making the rules for all of us, and people ought to get upset about that. Coop owners argue a noisy rooster <coughs> should be handled the same way the city handles noisy dogs. This just went way out of lines of being reasonable. This was not a reasonable solution. A rooster ban was in place until it was left out of an overhaul of the city animal code earlier this year. We've given it eight months as almost a quasi-test run, uh, and it has driven certain residents and communities uh, in my district uh, crazy uh, relative to not being able to sleep peacefully at night. Council members who voted yes say this is about keeping peace in the neighborhood. We're not in Connecticut County where they have roosters. This is a metropolis. This is a city mobile. Well, first off, I went on Google and I looked at all the different chicken coops. Mark O'Rourke made his chicken coop to get fresh eggs. Roosters are good for the flock because they will keep predators away, and they also alert you to strangers, as you can hear in the background. And it's a noise we'll probably hear a lot less in the coming weeks, if you hear it at all. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5. Some rooster owners say they have few options. Some will move their birds to farms outside of the city. Others may have to dispatch or butcher their roosters.